All right, guys, so we just watched Battle of the Bastards. I thought it was just incredible cinema, genuinely, but a lot of people were saying the best episode of the series was the one coming up. So this is the Winds of Winter. The Starks are back in control of Winterfell. Bolton banners were getting tossed off the side, man. I love to see it. It's starting to feel good again, in right. a way. But it, then in another way, it's starting to get really stressful. So I'm ready to There's go. There's new alliances. I cannot wait. This is about man. to be Let's crazy. Go. Let's go. Mary Kate and Ashley. <gasps> yes. Mm -hmm. We're back, baby. Let's go. Yeah, we back to the Reese Cups. We back to the to the dire wolves. It's gonna be weird though, back in Winterfell, knowing someone's been skinning people in your chambers. I know. He caused winter hell. Like what's the, what? Like uh, what do you say? Hot pie? Hot pie called to that? Winter hell. Forgot about hot pie. Hope he's doing great. Probably done made it to Food Network by now. <laughs> I still really like the way Doran looks. Was it yellow at first and now it's blue? It'd be a great catch. Let us know, guys. Jingling. Or red. Jingling. <laughs> All right, let's go. Cersei looks insane. Yeah, did you see her like new outfit? All black. Queen Marjorie. This is so ominous. Potato sack. <laughs> yeah, he looks like they're Potato about to sack do the, uh, Jack. The jumping game. The sack Whoa. So this is the trial right off the bat. Let's go. We're in this thing. Ooh. This music. Yeah, this is very interesting how they're choosing to incorporate this music like this. It's this is different. way different. Yeah. It's real. Well, not real, but you know what I'm saying. It's not just like someone's sitting on the keys. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Trial will be getting underway soon. Whoa. The costumes in this one are by far the best I've seen so far. Dirty Pisa. Later. Go away. <laughs> From Easter. What was that? I don't know. I wish I could have heard it. They chopped his hair off. Disrespectful. Oh my gosh. Loris Tyrell, are you prepared to stand trial and profess your guilt or innocence before the Seven? There will be no need for a trial. I confess before the Seven and freely admit to my crimes. To which crimes will you be confessing? All of them. I lay with other men, including the traitor and Liberathian. I perjured myself before the gods. I am guilty of depravity, dishonesty, profligacy. I humble myself before the Seven and accept whatever punishment the gods deem just. The gods' judgment. The warrior punishes those who believe themselves beyond the reach of justice. The mother shows her mercy to those who kneel before her. I feel like this is about to go sideways. I am scared. responsibility for my many sins and unburden myself of my desires. My only remaining wish is to devote my life to the Seven. May I be a living example of their grace for others to witness. You understand fully what this means i will abandon the tyrell name and all that goes with it Ooh. i will see his dad right there. Mm -hmm. and my claims on high garden i will never marry and i will never father children brother loris i ask you to dedicate your life to the seven gods will you fight to defend your faith against heretics and apostates i will oh, oh no. they're gonna put the seven pointed star so they basically are just like, oh you're powerful we're gonna put you on trial faith is the way father and then we're going to use our trial to advance our political agenda. Oh my gosh. They're really skilled at drawing a circle though. I mean, to be honest, like in this world, this is not really that brutal. Just a little cut in the forehead. This music though. I'm really like, I think I like it. All right, I'm ready. Okay, the mountain. I have to go. I'm late for the trial. Did he say no? Did he say no? Basically. You mutilated him. You gave me your word. And I've kept my word. Once the Queen Mother's trial is concluded, Brother Loras is free to leave. And where is the Queen Mother? Her litter never left the Red Keep. Her litter. It appears the Queen Mother doesn't wish to attend her own trial. Oh, wow. Go to the Red Keep and show her the way. Is she gonna... Is she gonna off herself so she doesn't have to go to trial? I don't know. Is that know. why she's born that wine? Because she and almost she, done that before she until her dad showed up. dress on. Bro, don't do it, Cersei. You're too arrogant for that. I don't know. This music is kind of leading me in that direction. Something really dramatic is gonna happen. That little boy said, I did something too, run. <laughs> With the Aladdin vest on. I stole a carrot. <laughs> Why is he so curious about him? I'll be like, just a boy running. <laughs> yeah, he's getting he got sidetracked. Yeah, Lancel, what you doing? Tyburn. The Maester Showdown. Where is the king? Elsewhere, I'm afraid. What's the meaning of this? I was told that. Uh, of more important things to do with my time and waste them in Please, the presence. Please, Grand Maester, I bear you no ill will. Please forgive me if you can. No shot. Who this? <gasps> His little birds. <gasps> These little kids are about to knight this old man down. No way. The girl he was sleeping with is going to be mad because she didn't get paid. Yeah. This pains me, my lord. Whatever your faults, you... But sometimes before we can usher in the new, the old must be put to rest. <laughs> Oh, 
of the new oh, generation. Oh, no. This means so Lancel's about to get knifed up too then. Has to. Oh, my goodness. What? He's gone. That's the end of him. I mean. Oh, my gosh. I didn't love Pycelle. I didn't like him either, but geez, man, he's been here since the beginning. I know. Like, the winds of winter, oh, yeah. he right? He basically introduced the me to the place. The winds of winter, man. Knives. The longer you wait, the worse it'll be for you. <gasps> there it is. I knew it. Aw, oh, man. Dang. Why'd you do that? What are you doing? Wait, is Kyburn working with the Seven? I don't know. Is that why that happened? I don't know. I don't know. Because they attack Lancel. I thought Kyburn only worked for Cersei is my thing. I, mean, I just don't know. What's Marjorie? What's that green stuff? Oh, that's wildfire. Oh, that's a lot of wildfire. Where is he at? Cause it, ain't that keep. what the Mad King used to keep in places? Yeah, the stuff that burn everybody alive. Yeah, there's something you wrong. nothing to fear, Your Grace. The trial will begin shortly. Sassy is not here. Tommen is not here. Why do you think they are not here? If the accused is not here, she will be tried regardless. We cannot escape the justice of the gods. Forget no, no, no. about the bloody gods and listen to what I'm telling you. Cersei understands the consequences of her absence, and she is absent anyway, which means she does not intend to suffer those consequences. The trial can wait. We all need to leave. <gasps> There's a candle. Oh, oh my God. Man. It's just a matter of time. Oh, wow. And he got stabbed, so he can't go blow the candle out. It's a race. It's a race. Come on, it's a it's a rat. Well, if he race. blows it, won't it? Can it still ignite? We all need Hell to yeah, leave man. now. Oh my God, Marjorie, get out of there! Get out of there! Get out of there! Stay with me. Come on, guys. Let me through. Let me through. Guys, uh, don't you know what's happening? C Cersei's about to blow that thing up, dude. That's all the Tyrells except Elena. Dang, I hope you get there. Oh man. Oh, he's so close. Come on, Lancel. They're not letting anyone leave. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, he knows. Oh. Is it where they're at? Oh! Oh my god. Oh! It, sir, that's why oh she wasn't my gosh. there. She's just in there watching it. And that's why Tommen couldn't She's go. smirking. Ooh. Cersei, you are cold. Ooh. And she drank wine to it. And I thought she was about to take a pill, bro. Like, who am I? Who is Heck that thing nah. I'm looking at right here? Dude. Oh, what is man. What's Tommen going to do? That's his whole wife. Oh, that I didn't even nug. think about that. He, he just saw off. it. He just walked off. Oh. <laughs> And there's that lady. Confess. <sighs> Confess. <gasps> oh, so Boom, she did it to her. Oh. Confess. This girl is wildin'. Cersei's tough, guys. She's wildin'. Cersei's a villain, the ultimate villain. There is no telling what she's about to subject this woman oh, to. Oh my god. Confess. It felt good. Beating me. Starving me. Frightening me. Humiliating me. You didn't do it because you cared about my atonement. You did it because it felt good. I understand. I do things because they feel good. I drink because it feels good. I killed my husband because it felt good to be rid of him. Now she's confessing. Such a villain. I fuck my brother because it feels good to feel him inside me. That's too much right I lie there. about fucking my brother because it feels good to keep our son safe from hateful hypocrites. I killed your high sparrow and all his little sparrows. All his septons, all his scepters. All his filthy soldiers, because it felt good to watch them burn. She's got a little Targaryen in her, don't she? Mm -hmm. you imagine their shock and their pain. No thought has ever given me greater joy. Even confessing feels good under the right circumstances. You've always been quiet. I said my face will be the last thing you saw before you died, you remember? Glad to see your face. I'm ready to meet the gods. Now? Today? Oh my gosh. You're not going to die today. I'm not going to die for quite a while. Torture time. Sir Gregor. This is Sir Gregor Clegane. Your gods have forsaken you. Oh my gosh. This is your god now. Oh, I am scared. <laughs> he needs to get his face looked at. Uh -huh. Shame. Shame. <laughs> Shame. That was dark. Remember when Danny left that girl in that tomb in Karth? Very sorry, your grace. Very sorry. Aww. He needs to step up as a king. It's now or never for his ass. That poor little guy. What? Oh, Lannister! 
Tommen just jumped out the window. Bro, he just couldn't deal with it. Well, he just. Frey. Oh my God. May we stand together. Like, do we pause centuries. it and talk about it or what? We're friends to the last. Not to kill the drama, guys. Let me just say, this young man just he in his mind the whole entire world fell apart right. on his watch. Everything, and I don't know how much he was buying into what the sparrow was selling or any of this, but everything he ever thought and believed when Tywin died, when Tyrion killed Tywin, King's La King's Landing's cursed basically because of that jump, man. That was crazy. And now we got to see this ugly mug right here, toasting. What you toasting for? Toasting to the betrayal. We stand together. He said with the Lannisters. Good friends. Oh, Jamie's the there. When we drive our swords through our enemies' hearts, may we speak the words of our alliance. The phrase and the Lannisters send their regards. <laughs> I swear. Yes, yeah, send our regards to the Boltons too. I hope that he dies at the same way. Those two have their eyes on you. Not my type. Not blonde enough. Not sister enough. <laughs> Not related enough. Oh, he's stuck on that Doran lady. <laughs> Oh, never mind. No need to call me sir, just because I'm an anointed man. This came together rather well. Your father would be pleased. Ed Muir's back in the cell. Can't go killing my son by law. Wouldn't be right. Give the family a bad name. <laughs> that old man is cell. sadistic, bro. <laughs> just keep him in the cell, though. It's fine. The famous blackfish killed by foot soldiers, eh? Legendary warrior, everyone said. Have you done much fighting yourself, Lord Frey? I'm uh, a bit old for all that. No, back in your day. The purpose of fighting is defeating your enemies, isn't it? I've defeated mine. River Run belonged to House Tully for a thousand years. Now it's mine. He's House Mooch. I hate this freaking guy. He's House Victory. Leech, House Mooch. Yes. House the Snake. Conqueror. Go on, mock me, boy. You think I mind? The Tullys mock me for years. The Starks mock me. Where are they now? You talk about war as if you're an expert, but the one battle I remember you fighting, you were captured by Rob Stark, the young wolf. <laughs> Here we are now, two Kingslayers. We know what it's like they to are, have them grovel to our faces and snigger behind our backs. We don't mind, do we? Fear is a marvelous thing. They don't fear the phrase, though. They fear the Lannisters, who <laughs> gave you the Riverlands to hold the Riverlands. If we have to ride north and take them back for you every time you lose them, why do we need you? Hey. He looks so confused. And he's like, oh, I cannot believe it. So you were right. Loyal to Cersei. Show me. It's about time. Man. Her grace, there's no need. Show me. Oh, no. Hey, remember what that witch said? All oh, her kids gold. would die? Gold shrouds. Shrouds, shrouds. What are your thoughts concerning the king's funeral? Oh, no. As the sept of Baylor is no longer an option, perhaps a ceremony in the throne room? He should be with his grandfather, his brother, his sister. Burn him. Bury his ashes where the sept once stood. So we're gonna see an evil, like an even more evil side of Cersei because this is a. It's just her and Jamie. Wash. Yeah, she has nothing left to like give her fear. They don't even have Lancel. Like, there's no more Lannisters besides well, Tyrion. Sam, you were too big to be by that cliffside. Aww, they're little fam fam. Hello. <laughs> From Lord Commander Snow at Castle Black. <laughs> This guy's a bag of sunshine, isn't he? <laughs> he has no reach. <laughs> I'm to be the new maester. According to our records, Gior Mormont is Lord Commander. He died. We received no report from the maester at Castle Black. Maester Raven became quite ill shortly after the election. He's since passed away, which is why I'm here. This is irregular. Uh, yes, well, I suppose that life is irregular. <laughs> Let him in, man. Is he trying to charm that guy? Yeah, let him in. Give him a shot. The Archmaester will discuss these irregularities with you. In the meantime, you are permitted to use the library. Follow me. Oh, this is his dream? No women or children. Remember earlier, he was like, wherever I go, you go. Don't worry about it. I'll make him let you in. Yeah. Well, we got her in there. But you know, this is his dream. She understands. She was like, I only know S. <laughs> is that what you do? Confuse me with your big words. <laughs> That's so cool with the chains. Whoa, that's a big library. I know. Wow. Okay, love the Citadel. It's pretty dope. I see where the tax money's going. Yeah. <laughs> Gillian Little Sam's gonna be waiting outside a long time. <laughs> when we have feasts, my family would sit up here and I'd sit down there. Could have been worse, Jon Snow. You had a family, you had feasts. Uh, you're right, I was luckier than most. Yeah, she walked to school uphills both ways. Yep, in the snow. With no jacket. Or shoes. 
Nice catch, though. We're not going to disregard that. What is that? Tell him. Tell him who it belonged to. The Princess Shireen. Tell him what you did to her. Tell him! Oh. You burned her at the stake. Why? The army was strapped. The horses were dying. It was the only way. You burned a little girl alive. I only do what my lord commands. If he commands you to burn children, your lord is evil. Yeah, facts. That's how I feel. And she was just furthering their education. We are standing here because of him. Jon Snow is alive because the lord willed it. I loved that girl like she was my own. She was good. She was kind. And you killed her. So did her father. So did her mother. That hurts to hear. Right, because where are they? They all died anyway. You told everyone Stannis was the one. You had him believe in it. All of them fooled. I was wrong. Uh, you were wrong. How many died because you were wrong? Everyone makes mistakes. I ask your leave to execute this woman for murder. She admits to the crime. Do you have anything to say for yourself? I've been ready to die for many years. Yeah, I don't think she did it on purpose. If the right. done with me, so be it, but he's not. You've seen the Night King, Jon Snow. You know the Great War is still to come. You know the army of the dead will be upon us soon. And you know I can help you win that war. She's kind of right. Ride south today. If you return to the north, I'll have you hanged as a murderer. Oh, wow. That's your reviver, though. That earns the loyalty of Ser Davos, though. Yes. Well, he wants her executed. If you ever come back this way, I will execute you myself. That was intense. I mean, she was just riding hard for what the Lord said to do, I guess. And she's old, so it's probably been like something she really believes. If he's really giving her visions and prophecies from the fire, like she ain't asking for that. Or maybe she is, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like she's just really old. So, you know, she's sent here for a reason. I'm having the Lord's chamber prepared for you. Mother and father's room. <laughs> you should take it. I'm not a Stark. You are to me. And me. I say you start over as a Stark. You might as well. Yeah, no one knows now. You're the Lady of Winterfell. You deserve it. We're standing here because of you. The battle was lost until the Knights of the Vale rode in. They came because of you. Yeah, that was some tactical Not stuff. Not the king because Littlefinger wants to get all nasty with, uh... You told me Lord Baelish sold you yeah. to the Boltons. Sansa. He did. And you trust him? Only a fool would trust Littlefinger. Should have told you about him. About the Knights of the Vale. I'm sorry. We need to trust each other. We can't fight a war amongst ourselves. We have so many enemies now. Y'all have home field advantage now, let's go. John, a raven came from the citadel. A white raven. Winter is here. That's why all those white ravens were flying out? I was wondering, I didn't want to say it was a raven because I was like, Waven ravens ain't white. Right. So basically- I thought it was a turtle dove. <laughs> Mother always promised, didn't <laughs> <laughs> So what, they like never really saw winter? It's here. The last time a Tyrell came to dawn, he was assassinated. A hundred red scorpions, was it? She you doesn't know. To fear from us, Lady Olenna. You murder your own prince, but you expect me to trust you? We invited you to Dorne because we needed your help. You came to Dorne because you needed our help. What is your name again? Barbara? <laughs> Obara. Obara. You look like an angry little boy. Don't presume to tell me what I need. <laughs> Forgive my sister. What she lacks in diplomacy, Do she makes... shut up, dear. Anything from you? <laughs> no. Good. Let the grown women speak. The Lannisters have declared war on House Tyrell. They have declared war on Dorne. We must be allies now, if we wish to survive. Cersei stole the future from me. She killed my son. She killed my grandson. She killed my grandson. So she does know yeah. she's just ain't about to break character. Right. Survival is not what I'm after now. You're absolutely right. I chose the wrong word. It is not survival I offer. It is your heart's desire. And what is my heart's desire? Is that Varys? Oh. Justice. Is he going to be? Fire and <gasps> blood. Yes. We're packing with Daenerys. Okay, so nearly ready. Cersei versus Daenerys is how it's shaping up the girl fight. Yes. Let's go. Curious to see how the Dothraki do on the poison water. You're not coming with us. New strategy? You want the Second Sons to attack from the west coast? If we take Casterly Rock, the Lannisters will have nowhere to run when you hit King's Landing. You're not going to Westeros. You're staying here with the Second Sons. There's finally peace in Marine. You will keep the peace while the people choose their own leaders. Fuck Marine. <laughs> Fuck the people. Damn. I'm here for you, not them. My sword is yours. My life is yours. This is what I command. If I'm going to rule in Westeros, I'll need to make alliances. The best way to make alliances is with marriage. You can't Aww. trust this guy to rule for you, though. Who He's are you mad. marrying this time? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe no one. 
But you need to lure the noble houses to the table. Are you a queen or fish bait? I can't bring a lover to Westeros. A king wouldn't think twice about it. So that's what you want? To be my mistress? I'm not proud. <laughs> I, I don't care what perfumed aristocrat sits beside you in the throne room. I don't want a crown. I want you. Dang, I don't think she wants you back, brother. I love you. And I make you happy. You know I do. Bring me with you. Let me fight for you. I can't. The dwarf told you to do this. No one tells me to do anything. Clever fellow. Can't argue with his logic. I'm no use to you over there. Don't get angry. I'm not angry. I'm full of self-pity. Who comes after you? Who can ever follow Daenerys Stormborn, the mother of dragons? A great number of women, I imagine. Specific orders will be left for you regarding the welfare of Marine and the Bay of Dragons. Bay of Dragons? We can't call it Slaver's Bay anymore, can we? Oh, nice. There you go. You'll get that throne you want so badly, I'm sure of it. I hope it brings you happiness. That was kind of dark, because it ain't bringing a lot of people happiness I in Westeros. West I Wales. know. They have no idea what's coming for them. <laughs> Farewell, Darien Harris. Yeah, you changed a lot since I first met you, brother. I know. Different actor and everything. Right. I liked how he was, like, in a fight for her, though. That was a nice thing to have. No tears. <laughs> no tears. I know it was hard for you. You turned away a man who truly loves you because he would have been a liability in the Seven Kingdoms. That's the kind of self-sacrifice that makes for a good ruler, if it's any consolation. It's not. No, I suppose not. I'm terrible at consoling. Yes, you really are. How about the fact that this is actually happening? You have your armies. Wow. You have your ships. You have your dragons. Everything you've ever wanted since you were old enough to want anything. It's all yours of the taking. You're in the great game now. Oh, wow. And the great game is terrifying. The only people who aren't afraid of failure are madmen like your father. Either win or you die. Do you know what frightens me? I said farewell to a man who loves me. A man I thought I cared for. And I felt nothing. Just impatient to get on with it. Whoa. Wasn't the first to love you. And he won't be the last. You have completely failed to console me. <laughs> for what it's worth, I've been a cynic for as long as I can remember. Everyone's always asking me to believe in things. Family. Gods. Kings. Myself. It was often tempting. Until I saw where belief got people. So, I said no thank you to belief. And yet... Here I am. Believing in you. I believe in you. It's embarrassing, really. <laughs> I'd swear you're my sword, but I don't actually own a sword. It's your counsel I need. It's yours, now and always. I, um, I had something made for you. And I'm not sure if it's right. Hand of the Queen! Oh. Let's go! Does he got dragon Targaryen themes? Tyrion Lannister. Oh. I name you Hand of the Queen. My man didn't do his job and then got promoted. Oh. Dario would be pissed. I know. <laughs> He's getting booted. He's getting promoted. But that, that was just so thing. sweet. Oh, I hope Ugh. you choke. You're not one of mine, are you? No, my lord. Didn't think so. Too pretty. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> like a title, Where are my damn moron sons? Blackwalder and Lothar promised to be here by midday. They're here, my lord. Tell them to come here, now. But they're already here, my lord. What? In the food? So she, he's eating them? Wait, what? Ugh. Was that a fingernail? I don't know. You weren't easy to carve. You're eating your own. So Especially Black Walder. Oh. Who is this? <gasps> it's Arya! <gasps> oh, she's about to get that revenge. I want you to know that. I don't want you. The last thing you're ever going to see is a Stark smiling down at you as you die. Oh. Just the way they did Catelyn. Let's go. Yo, that's for two Bs, you son of a... Dolphin. Let's go, Arya. A girl is not no one. She's Arya Stark. She is not no one. That's crazy, man. She got the skill she needed so she could go take this bastard out. Yes. That's what you get, man. How satisfying of a kill. Ta-ta, house free. Don't need ya. Arya, like that. That was nuts, dude. I like dude. that. Oh, that was man. the revenge we needed right there. Wow. That brings me back to when they killed Rob, man. That seemed like just yesterday. Mm-hmm. That was good. Ooh. So they're getting rid of everyone. The winds of winter. If you're a prayer. Winter is coming. I'm done with all that. I came here every day when I was a girl. Prayed to be somewhere else. Back then I only thought about what I wanted, never about what I had. I was a stupid girl. You were a child. What do you want? I thought you knew what I wanted. Every time I'm faced with a decision, I close my eyes and see the same picture. Whenever I consider an action, I ask myself, will this action help to make this picture a reality? Pull it out of my mind and into the world. A picture of me. On the Iron Throne. Mm-mm. And you by my side. Double mm-mm. Please don't kiss that man. 
Oh, she didn't. She did the husband good. She said it's a pretty picture. <laughs> she said paint it with someone else, buddy. News of this battle will spread quickly through the Seven Kingdoms. I've declared for House Stark for all to hear. You've declared for other houses before Lord Baelish. It's never stopped you from serving yourself. The past has gone for good. You can sit here mourning its departure, or you can prepare for the future. You, my love, are the future of House Stark. Who should the North rally behind? True-born daughter of Ned and Catelyn Stark, born here at Winterfell, or a motherless bastard born in the South? Oh, he's trying to pin her against Jon? Yeah, but that's why you just don't have nothing to do with that man. You slither away from him while you can. But he makes a lot of sense if your ultimate desire is to, like, rule everybody. Mm hmm But clearly Jon knows that there's White Walkers and stuff out there. How do you think Littlefinger's gonna feel about Sansa denying him like that? I don't want to know. He's probably gonna be I'll mean. You're not coming with us. The wall's not just ice and stone. Ancient spells were carved into its foundations. Strong magic to protect men from what lies beyond. And while it stands, the dead cannot pass. I cannot pass. You shall not pass. Where will you go? The great war is coming. I still fight for the living. I'll do what I can, as long as I can. Ice warrior. Damn good. Let's go. Thank you, Uncle Benjamin. Thank you, Uncle Benjamin. I wish you both good fortune. Man, I hate that, because he's such a season one character. Just that moment right there. They're all just like, bye. Season one's like, sorry. Are you sure you're ready for this? I'm the three-eyed raven now. I have to be ready for this. I wonder if the first three-eyed raven started when he was that young. Maybe. Whoa, we back to here? <clears throat> Ned? Diana. Oh. His sister. Is that you? I thought she was getting killed. Me too. Is that really you? What? No, I'm not a dream. I'm here, right here. This is your big mother. I want to be brave. Why? I'm not. I don't want to die. You're not going to die. Get us some water. No, no water. Just is listen. there a mist there? Listen to me, Ned. <gasps> what does she whisper? I hate I when know. they whisper. If Robert brings it. You know it. You have to protect him. Promise me, Ned. Promise me. Then who's that baby? It's gonna paint to Jon Snow. That's who it was. I knew it was Jon. So he didn't have an affair, so, dude. So that was his. So that was his sister's baby, and he. So he pretended. Oh, that was really emotional. He pretended that the baby was born just out of wedlock to keep Robert from killing the baby. Right. So that means maybe, bro. Well, maybe, maybe he was. She born, didn't get raped and killed. Well, maybe she did get raped though. Oh. But she, I, I heard she got raped and killed. Right, that's the whole narrative. But maybe she, she didn't, maybe she just got raped and not killed. Right. I don't know. Maybe they were together. Maybe she had a thing for him. I don't know. So Ned is just protecting his sister from something. Free folk, the Northerners, and the Knights of the Vale fought bravely, fought together, and we won. My father used to say, we find our true friends on the battlefield. The Boltons are defeated. The war is over. Winter has come. If the Maesters are right, it'll be the coldest one in a thousand years and wait out the coming storms. The war is not over. The true enemy won't wait out the storm. He brings the storm. <laughs> right. Yeah, what does Littlefinger think about this whole thing? He's probably just like, I don't care. I just want to be on the Iron Throne. How can I exploit it? Your son was butchered at the Red Wedding, Lord Manderley, but you refused the call. You swore allegiance to House Stark, Lord Glover, but in their hour of greatest need, you refused the call, and you, Lord Kerwin, your father was skinned alive by Ramsay Bolton. Still, you refuse the call. But House Mormont remembers. The North remembers. We know no king, but the king in the North whose name is Stark. And all the is a bastard. Ned Stark's blood oh. runs through his veins. He's my king from this day until his last day. He didn't even ask for all that and still got it. Yeah, we know how reluctant John is to walk into that leadership position he's always in. <laughs> Lady Mormont speaks harshly. And truly. My son died for Rob Stark. I didn't think we'd find another king in my lifetime. I didn't commit my men to your cause. Because I didn't want more Mandalays dying for nothing. Jon Snow avenged the Red Wedding. He is the White Wolf. The king in the north. <laughs> the real White Wolf, not Bucky. <laughs> I did not fight beside you on the field. And I will regret that until my dying day. A man can only admit when he was wrong and ask forgiveness. There's nothing to forgive, my lord. There will be more fights to come. House Glover will stand behind House Stark as we have for a thousand years. And I will stand behind Jon Snow. The King in the North! I like it. This moment, though. 
<laughs> wow. That was even. Look what Ellie started. <sighs> He's kind of got a claim too. Because he's technically blood, too. Well, he was net. Well, he was already technically blood, though. Well, yeah, I guess that's true, yeah. But he's not just like a bastard born out of shame, necessarily. Yeah, like he, it, I mean. Well, we'll see. I don't really know. But then it, it pants to Littlefinger, like he planned it all or something. Like this benefits him. Right. Like something sketchy. Ooh, that was so intense. You know when people are leaving and they're like, don't burn it down. Yeah, try not to burn down yeah. the keep when I, when I leave. <laughs> Jamie's not going to be able to believe it. He's he's better than her, so he might be mad at her. Wow. What that she, armor. What was she saying about Tyrion? He'll weasel his way to freedom. Mm -hmm. That's what she did. She did. <laughs> stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. A queen. And a kyber. The hand. <laughs> I now proclaim Cersei of the House Lannister, first of her name. Queen of the Andals of the First Men, protector of the Seven Kingdoms. This is cold. I love how she wears her hair as a trophy. You hear this? Yes. Cersei, along with Kyburn in the mountain, found power, man. Found it. Found it again. The remix of the Reigns of Casimir. That should be the cover art for the whole entire series. Mm hmm. Jamie's like, ding. You guys get it. You get Are it. You, what? His thing got hard and said, ding. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know if you liked that. She read. He might not like it, but he thinks it's hot. <laughs> this is intense. Whew. Where are we going, guys? Is that the ship they're on? That's yeah. Daenerys' ship. It's, it's got dragon. a dragon on it. That was in the Unsullied. Let's go. Where's Grey the Dorthraki? Worm? Show them Dorthraki. Where's them Dorth packs at, baby? Don't you feel like this is such a payoff moment right here? Yeah, we've been watching the show a while. Oh to get my to this. gosh. Look at the Targaryen flags. Dorn. <gasps> Where's the. And the dragons. Oh my gosh. Let's just enjoy it for a second. Make it some waves. Tyrion's like, look at me now, boys. <laughs> look at me now. Yes. They're ready to go to war, right? Yeah, they're ready to go conquer. He said, tell him I'm coming. I love this. <laughs> this is great. Ch -ch Chills, baby. It's all the different ships for me, just reuniting. And, oh, take them. and then we have three dragons. <laughs> that was the best. Jeez, guys. Oh, man. There's nothing at the end of this, right? All right, guys. So let's take a look. Every once in a while in your life, you sit down to write an episode. I don't know what happens, man. You just you drink the right the right type of brew. You get in that right mindset, and it all just comes together, man. That was one of the best. That was one of the best things I've ever seen. Movies, TV shows, series, whatever, dude. Hands down, line them up. This right here will compete. This was good, man. This is one of the best moments. This is one of the best series or you know episodes of Game of Thrones. I think we're gonna get. I, I hope that the end can be somewhat like this because this was. This was epic from start to finish. I felt right. like, babe, what in the world just happened in this episode? Let's like, talk about so it. much change, right? Man, like, this, this had more change. change. It started out. It started out with Pycelle getting getting murdered. Man, getting. I stabbed forgot up. that was this episode. You that know was the big. Yeah, it yeah. felt like like that was such. It was a long like a, episode. It was, it was just, an hour and twenty. But it minutes. wasn't just that. It was just a lot happened. Like so much right. happened from. So yeah, the change happened. So basically, like. We should even maybe go by the houses, like, because each house had a, something different. That's happen. what I'm saying. So we should start with who? Let's the start Lannisters? with the Lannisters okay. because it all started with, well, Cersei's got to stand trial. Uh, Lancel has to stand trial. She had no intention of being there. No intention. Zero. And she she knew that the consequences of not being mm -hmm. would be so bad and she still chose not to come. And uh, Marjorie put that together because she's smart, but it seemed it like. It was too late. Yeah, man, it definitely seemed like the High Septon was not interested in hearing that. And then it seemed the like... The High Sparrow? Yeah, the High yeah. Sparrow, sorry. But it seemed like he was not interested in hearing that. And then in the end, it seemed like he sort of put it together, but he was just trying it to die late. on the hill. He, yeah. he just wasn't willing to admit he was wrong, basically. So that was crazy. And then they also murdered Lancel, which was insane because mm -hmm. that really set the tone. Well, actually, they didn't murder Lancel. They stabbed him, and then he tries to crawl... And put out the candle, which was sitting right. soaked in wildfire. So, like, through Lancel, we got to put it all together. Because if we didn't see, if Lancel didn't see the candle, we would have just been like, where did that explosion come from? Well, you know in real time, saying? I was really confused because I didn't really see in real time that they were under 
they were under them. You get what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. I wasn't sure where that wildfire was. When they walked off, it looked kind of confusing. My first there. thought was initially, <clears throat> I just wasn't sure where it was, so I didn't want to be wrong in such an intense moment. I just but remember, I, I, like, I just remember we were watching uh, a episode before, and they were talking about how the Mad King kept it under the sept, and I knew the trial was there because the star, the seven pointed star. So I didn't know, like, I didn't know if like if one could ignite a bunch. Yeah, that junk so, spreads yeah. like wildfire, baby. And because that's what it is, yeah. Right. <laughs> but so basically, House Lannister lost Tommen due to that. They lost Tommen. He they went lost, and jumped out the window. Right. That was nuts. That was one of those moments. I say it all the time. There's, you know, how I said there was like five moments so far that really just shocked you or burned in my mind. Yeah. This episode in itself just added at least three or four more. Right. So I have like eight or nine moments that are just seared in my mind. When Tommen just hopped out the window. That was shocking. He just gave up on life. Yeah. Like, he was so overwhelmed by the moment that the pressure of the moment was so much worse than the idea of jumping headfirst out of a window, which right. is insane to me. And that's so crazy. But also a lot of pressure. It kinda, I kind of felt like Tommen had like kind of really like kind of those tendencies anyways, because he was getting to the point where Marjorie was even like, locked up that he was starving himself so well he just, starved himself yeah. he went radical in terms of like the fanatic thing yeah um which i wasn't sure how much of that was real how much of it was just him trying to like protect his house and like doing what he could do um like you know and cersei kind of knew and that's the thing i don't know what effect she knew that it was gonna have on him but cersei already knew tommen was gonna die so how do you know that because she knew it from the prophecies she knew well, do you think that she believed in that prophecy? Yeah. Or do you think it was one of those things when, where, like... Because I, when I was editing, I saw when Marcella was dead, right? And she said, I knew this was going to happen. Is that and, why she was colder about Yeah, Tommen? that's what I think. She knew I, it was going to happen right. and she was just prepared anyways? Yeah, she just, like, she knew. So, I think she knew when, like, because when she accepted the queen position so quick, she didn't really have time to grieve over him. Well, because I was thinking in real time, but, I mean, geez, we talked so much in this episode, guys. But how, how could we not, man? But, um... I was thinking in real time, it was weird to me because even for Marcella, she grieved so much harder. And Tommen mm -hmm. played a significantly bigger role in the show than Marcella right, did. Right, and that's why and she moved my on very conclusion quick. was she she knew it was coming. She was basically like, oh, of course he did. Like, like That's how it happened. Right, I have to take out Marjorie. I have to take out the Tyrells and this, this septum or I'm going to, like, something bad's going to happen to me. And, like, I, I don't I don't know if it's exactly that, but Tommen just felt like a casualty of that. I, I felt like the idea that Maybe Tommen just put it together so fast what his mother had done. His wife was dead. His legacy was destroyed. And maybe in the moment, just the idea that, I don't know, man, he had no one left but his mother. And in that moment, his mother completely took everything out of his hands by making him a prisoner, essentially. Right. It was just wild, And man. also, like, like, imagine you're a young king. He has nobody. But you're also a young king, and, like, you look out your window, and, like, your whole city's being destroyed. And you know that's you're where your wife king is. You're an impressionable age right. where you're like a young man, where you're like really coming into your own. You're starting to get a like sense of who you are. Uh, you're starting to like learn your limitations. And this young man comes into the world and he just gets freaking ramrod. Yeah. Left just, or right. No he, power. He gets no wins. He, he didn't get no one. win. The only thing Tom and Dunn in this whole entire series. Well, I could be completely wrong, but the only thing I can really think of that he was able to do positive was marrying Marjorie in a sense. Right. And like helping the realm out in that way. But right? I don't know. That didn't really help anything. Right. In it a just sense. made it kind more of destroyed problems. Everything. Yeah. yeah. Well, okay. So House Lannister is just Jamie and Cersei. And that is it, you guys. That is it. That Jamie is was looking very scared, slightly turned on. I don't, I don't know. You I know? think to <laughs> me, he looked scared because when he came back, so he left. And Cersei was kind of weakened. Like, she was not Cersei. She well, let me explain why I said uh, aroused, babe. I'm not trying to be funny. The reason I said that was because remember when Jamie went really dark and was like, at the end of the day, like, my children. Right, all where all that stuff, matters. F everybody At the end of the day, else. F everybody. Yeah. It's just me and her. Maybe that. That I, don't, I, don't, I didn't know if that was a look of, like, seduction or a right, look of. Right, right. If you, you know, it, right. they're weird. They're weird guys. They're very deep right. in that way. So they're I, just strange. You might have got that look, but in my personal opinion, I got the look of like, dude, I left and now I come back. But you could be completely right. I guess we'll just have time will only tell. Like, if you're Jamie, either that completely scares you or that completely just refocuses you. Right. And like gives you a sense of like purpose again. I don't even know. I didn't even get to see Jamie mourn. Tommen, you no. know, he was he was never a father. It's to him like anyways. he didn't even he was, get to know. He spent more time in Dorne when Tommen was king than right. he actually spent in King's Landing. Right. Um, Varys popped up, showed up. Sir Davos finally confronted the Red Woman. Melisandre had to bounce. Jon Snow basically right. hit her with the banish. She went south. 
Which, and if you think junk's wild up north, that, man, yeah. wait till you go meet these these women down south, bro. They're weird. They're wild down there. Well, south where she where they were at is anywhere. It's like King's Landing. Yeah, basically. <laughs> like, yeah, not like, all the way Dorn. You don't yeah. have to go all the way there. No, 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 not south to Dorn. I'm saying like Melisandre. She's about to go to King's Landing and meet oh, Cersei. Yeah. She knows she's got to go south. Yeah. Or, or she's gonna meet. I don't up know with, what she's gonna do. Honestly, maybe she'll meet up with Daenerys. Maybe they need to do. I don't know what to think about the Red Woman right now. Right. So then we got. So we did the Lannisters. So who's next? Who? What other house you want to talk about? To be honest, the, the best. Way, I, I feel like the best way to ever do it, guys, is to just. Oh man, the coldest moment of the show to me was when Cersei finally got. I don't. I, I forget what her name was, but that lady who was like confess. Oh, confess. Uh, Septa Ursula. Septa Ursula. Or something like that. Septa Ursula. Um, she finally strapped her down. Told her to confess. I don't know what the mountain did to her. In my mind, you know how the mountain is just like a zombie robot who doesn't really have any like mm -hmm. personal desires or anything. I think that the mountain, in my mind, the mountain was sitting there. And then as Cersei was walking away, I couldn't really see what the mountain was doing. But in my mind, the mountain was strangling her right to the point of like unconsciousness and then letting her regain consciousness. And then I, I just imagine it's just going to be like a constant like cycle. Like over and over. Like just enough to like not Like on her. Deadpool. <laughs> Yeah, really dark, mm -hmm. man. Really dark. Sam finally gets to the library. The library is so much more. That's a whole nother change. That's why be. I was like trying to go for like the families to stay a little organized with this. But that's another change. Like that's more of like going in like the time linear way. Cause, right. But yeah, you're right. Go ahead. Well, basically, that also is a change because Sam is now the is now becoming a maester. So yeah. there, that's a whole new generation. If he can change. prove, if he can prove that the regime change went down the way he said it did up at the wall, because oh, you think that that guy is gonna go follow up on that? I don't know. He could, <laughs> like, I don't could know. keep him from being a maester. I have no idea. I mean, right. Sam could go on to be, you know, the great warrior who kills the Night King. For all I know, I have no idea. You right. know what I'm saying? Who knows? But the good thing about like Sam's arc that we haven't really talked about though is he got a sword he got a sword to defeat like white walkers and yeah, he did. and like wits and, and whites and stuff so that is important that he is Val valerian that's why steel. i said that actually because he got that steel, yeah. that sword yeah so he has that valerian steel, and that's very important so then i don't know what other family you want to talk about now but you should just pick one um you can talk targaryen oh lannister wise Tyrion's alive i forgot about that Tyrion. so there's Tyrion, jamie cersei Tyrion's now hand of the queen. Yeah, that was a really good moment, really touching moment. I love uh -huh. to see that. Um, oh, and Daenerys, let's go of Dario Naharis. That's what I'm saying. There's a lot to tackle. This was this was the the most action. What well, was the like, longest episode happened. too? It was yeah. an hour twenty. Basically, man, over in Dorne. Oh, there was a Lady o and, and Lady Olenna. Tyrell. Yeah, exactly. Varys and the Sand right. Snakes. So they all have a mutual interest in destroying Cersei and getting rid of the regime in King's Landing. Wow, so her army's Daenerys's army's strong. So what does that leave the Lannisters with? Because it ain't gonna be the start. It seems like the strongest army in the show is Daenerys right, right now. now yeah, she has so many elements to her army, because and they're she, united behind. What the does cause. King's Landing have besides King's Landing? Like just the Lannister army. Which, Everyone hates them. They're still decimated from the war. Oh, remember? Yeah. Well, like they, remember King's Jamie's, Landing is never really like no one's ever really got a chance to recover from that. Right. Like, as soon as the the Lannisters rolled into town in season one, like it's just been nonstop war right. and famine. And, and now just, that the Tyrells are out of the fold, they're gonna be hungry. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then another thing, guys, is Littlefinger made a move on Sansa and basically confessed that he wants to be king and he wants her to rule beside him. And in his mind, it's really important that in order for that to happen and for it to be legitimate, she needs to take control of the North. But right. the people want Jon Snow. Right. Which brings us to the other thing about freaking the vision that Bran had. Right. Lyanna. So yeah. Lyanna Stark gave birth to Jon Snow. Right. So Jon Snow is technically, well, he's still a bastard, but. Right. But what we put, what we, th like, we thought that Lyanna. We nothing. What are you talking about? Well, we're, Lyanna, we thought was getting, everyone of the audience, we thought that Lyanna was getting raped and murdered by oh yeah, yeah Rhaegar Targaryen yeah and at the when Bran keeps coming to this vision they're guarding her they're protecting something so they're protecting that baby right it seems like John it seems like Ned told the lie that he got a girl pregnant brought home a bastard but it was really his sisters to protect john from robert because robert would have killed him right which means it's 
What's the Targaryen dude's name? That Rhaegar. Raped her? So that means it's either Rhaegar's baby out of rape or either they were together. Right. And that's the thing we don't know yet. So it's like, were they together? So was this like, because it seemed like for her to be like, protect him, protect him, that that baby matters to her. It wasn't a baby out of like a violent situation. I, I don't what know. What do you think about that? I think it's Rhaegar's baby. So that means, oh, that means John and Daenerys are like related to each other. Yo, that's kind of sick. So they're like brother and sister. Well, no, Which, that's Daenerys would be John's aunt essentially because Rhaegar is. Oh yeah, that's right. Right, but right, wait, what Rhaegar was Daenerys Targaryen's uh, the older brother. Older brother. Yeah, right. the the good one, the one everyone liked, the one that was singing songs. in the streets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the one that Barris and Selmy would lay down the line for. So maybe it's shaping up that Rhaegar wasn't bad, and this war started for no reason. Wait, did, did Littlefinger have anything to do with it? Well, Littlefinger killed John Aaron, remember, and that's how we thought all this started. But really, if you want to go back to it, it started all because Leanna and Robert. Right. Crazy. Um, wow. So which essentially. So does that mean? So, so John's a Targaryen. So does that mean John has a claim to the throne or is it just Daenerys? Well, the to me right now, I think like anyone has a claim to the throne. Like, I feel like right, if, you right, can, right. if you can shoot for it, you got it. But the honest thing is, I don't really know. Like, what do you think? Like. Because it's a girl. It's the same with John. John has that on both sides. So it's him against Sansa, a bastard versus a true born woman. You could be getting ahead of yourself. So here's the thing, guys. So the whole entire narrative about what started all this junk was Rhaegar did that to Lyanna. Lyanna. So either Rhaegar violated Lyanna and she had the baby because of that. They were together, or that whole story was completely false. So they might not even, he might not even have nothing to do with it. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So but, it could be something completely but different. But I just felt like at the beginning there was Targaryen people and they were protecting whatever was in there. So to me- They were Targaryen people? I, yes, they had Targaryen symbols on their, on their, um, their night stuff. And Ned kept walking up to it and Ned defeats all of them, remember? And Howland Reed tries to help him. Right. Right. Yeah, and all that was Targaryen people because they're protecting whatever was up there. Under probably, a, so that would mean that was under Rhaegar's orders then. Right. That's wild as hell. So you're and saying we heard her screaming, but it seems like she was giving the whole birth. time they made it seem like she was getting murdered. Right, or and she worse. looked like she was giving birth, and she was like peaceful, like she was being able to speak to Ned. So what was that about? That's what weird, I'm saying. That was weird. confusing. That leaves a lot of question marks. Very weird, man. But what I was saying about John and Sansa is. John is, they're all like, yeah, he's king of the north, right? But Sansa is a woman who is a true born also. She's a true born, actually. She's like Ned and Catelyn's daughter. Right. So it's like, at the end of the day, who gets the claim? And that could be the same with John and Daenerys maybe one day, if this ever gets out. I would just hope at this point, everything they've been through, John and Sansa could just find a way to get past that. I think so. And they could just find a way to like coexist man just find a way just find a way man because winterfell does not need another internal strife right but on. the look sansa and littlefinger gave each other at like the king of the north little banquet thing was sketchy to me it was like because he kind of was like hey i told you the offer take it right what did you think about that there seems to be a little distrust like even when they like when john kissed her on the forehead like in that scene yeah i, I don't know i just think i don't know man it's one of those things like everything we think is a net good it's basically like a net for a little finger you get what i'm saying yeah so it seems like everything's all falling into little fingers plan of some sort because you see i'm planting the seeds already maybe i answered your question <laughs> did i i don't know what'd you even ask me oh uh, who knows who knows but um this episode was insane but well, they basically appointed John King of the North, which I love. The King of the North, the King of the North. Mm -hmm. That was and so Ellie sick. Mormont that. did it, which was great. She goes, she does that little like <laughs> that little self satisfaction thing. She vouched for him. Yeah, yeah she started the whole. She got power. The whole thing. <laughs> I thought it was cool because in real time she was sitting there like standing up, just like calling, calling him out, calling men out. Yeah, and they're all just like, yeah, she's got a point. Yeah, I did do that. And then obviously part. in the end, <laughs> man, Theon and his sister are traveling on these incredible ships. Yeah, yeah, Yara's sitting there just reeking in it basically yeah that, man. but like, that's basically she's so too, proud of herself the Greyjoys, like they're all different now it's not balon anymore it's it's yara and theon versus euron out with the old and with the new yeah so like and then 
Oh my God, everywhere is just so different now. It's different. Yeah. Doran doesn't have those people. The Sand Snakes are in charge. Olena is the only person in House Tyrell. She really is, right? Mace yeah, is gone. Yeah, she's so... Yeah. yeah. I mean, she's not the only person. I'm sure she's got family, but the well, only people that girls. we know, yeah. Yeah, yeah and, and I mean, she's old, so her whole entire... And you know, even though all that happened to her, I thought that she didn't receive the news yet, but right. she still didn't break character. Because she was in there like a soldier. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she was like, she was like, well, I don't have time to cry in front of these people. That's that's makes me look weak. It's crazy. Yeah. All right, guys. So, man, that was the wins of winter. That was great. We're gonna be back with the history and war, and we'll be starting a brand new season. So, uh, I gotta know more about the Jon Snow situation because, right? I feel like we missed something. Maybe I missed something. Maybe I have to go back, but I don't know. Well, in my mind, the whole narrative was I just thought. Rhaegar was doing bad things to her and then it turned out it seemed like to me the whole thing was basically a lie to protect John. Right. Like, that's what I got. And out you because remember um little finger little finger told this story that Rhaegar brought Leanna of like these roses and he was married to like Oberyn's sister Elia or whatever. And he brought the roses to her in her lap and it caused like a lot of like tension. So it seems like maybe he like just liked her. Right. I don't know. It's like all signs are Maybe pointing to Maybe it was like a forbidden her. thing that, you know. Or it was, was like an affair they had behind Robert's back. Do you think we'll see that in House of Dragons? I don't know, because House of Dragons is like 300 years before this. You, you're all into the editing with that and stuff. I don't really know anything about House yeah, of Dragons. The editing, I'm excited to get into it. Right, but I just know House of Dragons is 300 years before because they told us. Right. You right. guys are awesome. Thanks for telling us. <laughs> <laughs> that was so much fun, man. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this reaction. I know I did. We'll see you guys on the next one. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit us up on Patreon. Uh, peace. <laughs>